In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at hyperlinks, particularly how we can link to files that are in different folders. Let's take a look at the website for the practice, hands-on practice 7-1. So if we open the index page in a browser, we see we have several different pages here. We have a canyon room, a Havelina room, weekend events, festivals, and contact. But how are those structured inside of our folder? So let's open up that 7-1 folder and take a look. We have our CSS file, our contact, and our index page all in the root folder. But then we have subfolders. We have an events folder that if we open up and look inside it, we have festival and weekend. So these two pages are inside a folder called events. Then if we look at images, we have these images that we have on our website that are on in an images folder. And then if we take a look at rooms, we have Canyon and Havelina room also in a different folder. Um, so how do we hyperlink to these pages? Let's open our Visual Studio code. And this time I did open um, the folder. So I did uh, add folder to workspace and open that folder. And here we can see it looks largely the same as it did when we were in our finder window. Um, these are uh, uh, items that are in our root folder and then we have subfolders, room, images, and events. And those are the files that are located in those. So I'm gonna collapse that. I've opened all of these pages in code, all of my HTML pages in code. And let's start with the index page, taking a look at it. Look at your navigation section. So the index and contact were in the same folder location. So if we come back here, sorry, let me move things around just a bit. If we come back here and look at our root structure, index is in that main page, contacts is in that main page, our main folder, excuse me. So we link those as normal. But if we need to go into a folder, like we need to go into rooms to find Havelina or Canyon, we have to do the folder name and a slash, okay? If we need to go to weekend, which is inside the events room, or inside the events folder, excuse me, we go events weekend or events festival. Okay, so that's how we get into a folder. But let's say we are at Canyon and we want to get back to the other folder. So let's go to Canyon and take a look at what happens there. So if we are inside Canyon, the only folder, the only file that we can direct link to is Havelina. So the only one that is typed like we normally type is the Havelina room. But if we need to link to anything else, we have to go back outside to our root folder. That's what these little dot dots mean. They're basically like pressing the back button um, on your finder, okay? So you're saying go back and then, in this case, um, find the events folder and then link to weekend. Find the events folder, link to festival. Um, go back and then find index. Go back and then find contact. Okay, so we're going to practice with that just a little bit. Let's take this canyon file as a starting place and we'll do a file save as. We want to make sure this is saving in the rooms folder and we are going to call this, we're going to create a new room called the Juniper Room. So we're going to call this juniper.html. Okay. Now let's modify this just a little bit so we know that it's the Juniper Room. So on my Juniper file, I'm going to go up and change Canyon to Juniper. I'm going to change somewhere I've got, yeah, H2 down here. I'm going to say this is the Juniper room page. Okay, and then um, let's view that in the browser. Nothing happened, right? Nothing happened because we have not changed anything with our links. Okay. So in your link section, if we want to link this, this is, um, we want to be able to link back to the Juniper page. So right below your Havelina, let's create another LI and another anchor tag that's going to link to the Juniper room. Okay. 
And now let's take a look at it in the browser again. So if we refresh this, oh, let's because I'm on the Canyon Room page. I need to do all B. Now we have the Juniper Room, okay? So now I have the Juniper Room. I can go to the Havelina Room, but then my Juniper Room link is no longer there. We want our navigation structure to appear the, pay, the same on every one of our pages. And since now all of these pages are missing the Juniper Room, we need to go into each page and create a link to the Juniper Room. Okay, so let's start with the index page. The index page is in our root folder. So to create a link to the Juniper page, we need to link into the rooms folder and then find our Juniper page. So right below Halavina, however you say it, I'm assuming that's right, but if it's not right, we'll just pretend like it's right. So we'll do rooms slash juniper.html and our text that we want to appear on the screen is juniper room okay so let's do a quick alt b in the browser and now we have juniper room and if we click on it that does indeed work okay so the next page i'm going to do is the contact page because the contact page is also in the root folder and that link will look exactly like this link. So I'm just going to do a quick copy and paste. Command C. And then I'll come to contact. And right below the Havelina room, I'll add that link the same way. Okay? Now, it's very important for each of these that you check your um, code in your browser to make sure it's working correctly. So um, from the contacts page, can I go back to the Juniper room? And I can't. Okay? So now that we've done those, let's make sure all of our room pages are functioning correctly. So we created the Juniper room, but we need to make sure that the Canyon room and the Havelina room are also linking to the Juniper room. So I need to, don't have um, my Canyon page open anymore because I made a copy of that one. So I'm going to open that one back up. And now we want to add a link here right below Halavina, and you could technically copy and paste this one from the Juniper Room, but I like to type, so why not? Okay, and again, we're going to check this one in the browser. Can I go to Juniper Room? Yes, I can. This is the Juniper Room page. Okay, I'm going to copy and paste that Juniper link. Command C to copy. I'm going over to my Havelina page, right below that Halavina link. I'm going to paste it, check it in a browser to make sure I can get to the Juniper room. I'm at the Havelina room. Can I get to Juniper? Yes. So that worked. Okay. So the last two things that we need to add this to are festival and weekend. Now in the festival and weekend, they are both in that events folder. So to get to the rooms folder, I have to back up. So I use my two dots and a slash and then tell it what folder to go to. So we're going to add another set of LI tags, do our anchor tag, dot dot slash to go back to the root folder, then find the rooms folder, then find the Juniper page. like that okay let's test it in the browser make sure it works we have the juniper link now if i click does it take me to juniper yes okay one more for the weekend which is the favorite time of the week a href dot dot slash to go back rooms to find the rooms folder juniper and we want it to say Juniper on the page. Not Rumo. What's a Rumo? Oh, sorry. I'm teaching two different programming classes at the same time. And we F5 for one to see our work. And this one we Alt B. It's so confusing. Can we get to the Juniper page? Yes. All right. 
Okay, so now you understand hopefully how you can link to files and folders outside of your root folder.